A bunch of games were on the slate today. Not all of the streams ended up panning out. Marilyn Bucknell, one that I was really excited to see, that ended up not going up, and I'm not sure why. Penn State and Villanova got moved to a different venue without a camera crew, so we didn't get to see that, but we did get to watch High Point. It was a terrible telecast, but I saw a little bit of that game today, and I just finished watching Duke at Furman. Duke knocked Furman off 17-9. Excellent game. So let's get into this. We'll talk about these games one by one by one, go over the scores, show a little bit of highlights where we have them, and then talk about what players had a, a great Saturday. Things got started off on Saturday with High Point hosting first-year program St. Bonaventure. Final score, 13-0. St. Bonaventure did look like a first-year program. They were okay defensively. Offensively, they couldn't get anything done. High Point looked excellent on both sides of the field. Chris Young goes for four goals. Asher Knowlton goes for three goals, four assists. Ben Baker, three goals. He puts up a hat trick. So High Point looks strong. St. Bonaventure, not so much. But hey, we got to love having new Division I teams to play. Detroit Mercy pulls off a 9-8 win over Jacksonville. It was one of the few one-goal games on the day. Seth Mendel goes for three goals and an assist for Detroit Mercy. Alex Jarzembowski, I'm surprised I actually attempted that. He goes for two goals. And then Detroit Mercy, they had guys spread it out. They had a couple of guys with two points, a couple of guys with goals. And then Bo Bohunter puts up three goals and an assist for Jacksonville. Wasn't streamed. We've got no highlights, but 9-8, great game. Ohio State hosted Cleveland State in the field house on campus, and the Buckeyes had a hard time pulling away. It ended up being 12-9. to It was a, a close game throughout. Cleveland State was able to go kind of tit for tat early in the game, and, and every time Ohio State threatened to pull away, Cleveland State would jump back into it. Jack Jasinski had uh, three goals, two assists. Trey LeClaire put up a hat trick. Jackson Reed went 2-1. and one. So Ohio State looked good overall, just a little bit shaky defensively, I thought. And then Cleveland State was led by Ryan Hay. He scores two goals. Gabe Reno and Tristan Copeland each put two goals up as well. So excellent game in the end, much closer than I thought it was going to be. Penn State dropped the hammer on Villanova by a score of 17-7. to Grant Ahmet had a huge game back going for three goals, seven assists. He put a dime on Villanova by himself. Dylan Folds and TJ Malone each put up hat-tricks, and Mac O'Keefe is good for two goals and two assists in the win. And then Jimmy Gabrielson, he led Villanova with two goals. I was surprised at this one. I figured a two-goal spread or so in favor of Penn State. That did not happen. I'm not sure what the what what went down since we didn't see it, but we'll find out in the in the coming days. So great game by Penn State. Not so much for Villanova. Looking forward to seeing the Nittany Lions play their next game. Rutgers beat Lafayette by a score of 14 to 8. Adam Charlembides goes 4 and 1 for Rutgers. I don't know what kind of name that is. Kieran Mullins 3 and 2 on the day. Andrew Robbins led Lafayette with 3 goals. Both teams fairly evenly matched. Rutgers ends up pulling away. Their defense looked a little bit better and they gave up a lot less shots. So hats off to Rutgers. Great win. Maryland played host to Bucknell and ends up getting the win by a score of 11 to 6. This was a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be. I pictured almost a 10-point spread by the end of the game, although I know a lot of people were really high on Bucknell and thought they could hang. They did, so congrats. Reed Malice led Bucknell with two goals. He's a hell of a player. Logan Wisnowskis ends up going 4-1 and one for Maryland, and Jared Bernhardt and Anthony DeMeo each put up two goals and an assist for Maryland. In cage, Danny Dolan got the start. He was good for 11 saves, and that's an excellent outing for him. There was a lot of question marks leading into the season, who was going to be the starting goalie and how was he going to look, and Dolan played well today, so that's a great sign for Maryland. In another one of the close games on the day, Wagner beats Bellarmine in overtime by a score of 7-6. to six. Spencer Kaufman is good for a hat-trick for Wagner, and Morgan Macko went 2-1 and one for Bellarmine. Tanner Cook went for two goals and three assists in North Carolina's win over Mercer. North Carolina spread the points out. A bunch of guys had big days. William Perry, Tim Kelly, they each went for two goals and two assists. Nikki Solomon, Jacob Kelly, and Andy Matthews each put up two goals and an assist. And Justin Anderson put up a hat trick in UNC's win. Lehigh beat New Jersey IT by a score of 15 to 8. Ryan Darrow and Cole Robillard each put up two goals and an assist for Lehigh. A Brad Smithless Duke beat Furman 17 to 9. Joe Robertson was forced to lead the Blue Devils. He was good for four goals and an assist. And Cameron Bedore 
and C.J. Carpenter each put up hat tricks. Carson Sorrells and William Holcomb each had two goals for Furman. Furman was able to hang a little bit early, but Duke's offensive depth eventually just wore on him and wore on him and wore on him. Excellent game in the end. Furman showed, and they looked a lot better than the last time they played Duke, but in the end, Duke's Duke. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because subscribing isn't good enough. You have to hit the notification bell so that you'll actually be pinged in your pocket when we put up a new video. 